Our third speaker tonight, someone I met just a couple weeks ago in a coffee shop. What a great place to meet people, huh? You, you sit there, you're doing your business, or you're having a cup of coffee, and then you hear somebody having a conversation. It's like, huh, that sounds kind of interesting. That's exactly what happened with Mary and me. She was bringing some art. I happen to like Borjo's coffee, I hope you do. And art is something that we all need to explore a little more. I don't know anything about art, but I appreciate it. And it turns out Mary has captured her perspectives on Norfolk through her art. And now she's going to share with you a bit about Mary's paintings. Mary Frankie. You want to know why I, this real big bloody act is hanging out with me here in this theater, here on the shore with the ships once powered by air and cloth and oars, move on split, split atoms, meet taxis once pulled by horses, now propelled by hydrogen. You want to know why I, and that poem is called Tools, and my tools are uh, much older tools. Uh, these are posters that I did of Occupy Norfolk last spring. These are the tents um, and artists were invited to participate. And that was during the Wells performance of, uh, of Red. And so I had a whole lot of Red in my posters. This is an aerial map of the Occupy Norfolk camp. Uh, there's the fountain in the middle, uh, the tents to the left, the train to the back right and the uh, Confederate monument in the front with uh, drummers. I spent time at the Catholic Worker Hospitality House, and this is the scene of the kitchen, and it's called Kitchen Tabernacle Choir. Uh, all of the people who needed a place to live um, uh, cooking. Here's another Catholic Worker scene. This is called Card Shark, and it was an evening of people sitting around the dining room table. And all of those people are people you know from around Norfolk, I hope. Here is dinner at the Catholic Worker Hospitality House, and it's called, And No One Was Turned Away. And that turkey was donated by the food co-op on 21st Street. This is a thank you card for the turkey. Here is the uh, uh, coffee line behind the uh, Hampton Road Transit Building on Monticello. And food is served to the homeless three times a week, grits and coffee in the morning. This is a, sort of a love picture to a house. It's called Manger Scene, and those are three houses um, on the block where I used to live. And all of the neighbors are acting their parts, and you can tell that there's a, a glow of, uh, of uh, happiness there. Here is another Bowling Avenue scene. It's called... Um, um, ODU Homecoming Fireworks is seen from Boeing Avenue, and that's uh, Susan Posey and her son. This picture is called Eviction. Uh, the beautiful houses are there, but the people are no longer there, and that is about a sad time during the bubble when landlords were selling houses. This is a, a scene that's no longer there. That is the garden at the Chrysler Museum. In the middle, on the left, is the uh, Unitarian Church, and in the middle is the bridge, and in the right is an apartment building. Here is another Norfolk scene. This is the uh, community garden across from the Five Points uh, Farmer's Market on uh, Church and 25th Street. Looks almost like that. I have a problem with the light, and I have to wear a lot of clothes, and so this is me walking on the beach. And it's called One Hot Beach Bunny. And the yellow should give you a feeling of sunlight. The Special Services Library in Virginia Beach uh, provides services to people who are blind or visually handicapped. Uh, this is called, in the Special Services Library, the books are dreaming of the people who would read them. Here is uh, a scene from... Elliot's Fairground Coffee House, and young Jewish girls are going to a meeting in, in the room on the porch, and I call this black tulips because of their skirts. 
This is a floating dinner party at Willoughby. And uh, some of you may remember the uh, merry-go-round. Uh, Fort Monroe is there. And uh, there are a lot of people having dinner with uh, liquor bottles floating in the water from Prohibition. So, vision. So pick up a crayon. You do not need a lesson. Let your eyes draw love lines over what you see. Seeing is such a gift. Seeing me, you, us, no unrecognized, uncared for city, no invisible people here. And this is uh, uh, Jim Miller, who runs a food pantry in Ocean View called Loaves and Fishes. And so there are some of my notebook uh, things that I'm glad to share with you. Thank you, Mary. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, no.